Study Date, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Mira Rose, with artwork for the opening and thumbnail image by Amaranti on Tumblr. You can find a link to their Tumblr in the description box. Please enjoy Study Date. Part 1. Marinette Dupang Chang. Doing homework in her bedroom. Hey, what did you get for question four? Marinette asked, leaning over the side of the bed to see Adrian's notebook. The two of them were studying together in her room, basking in the Saturday sunlight. She never thought doing homework would be the highlight of her day, much less her week, but recently she'd been looking forward to it. Between their superhero lifestyles and their part-time jobs for their parents' businesses, they found it easiest to spend time together when doing homework. Neither of their parents complained, so it worked out well for them. About stem cells? Yeah, I can't find it in the textbook. That's because she told us to skip that question. Really? Uh, I wish I had known that ahead of time. I just spent the last... 20 minutes on this question. Marinette, do you have any more camembert? A grouchy voice cut in. The couple looked over to see the black Kwame emerging from the dollhouse they built together a few weeks before. Plague's nap obviously prepared a renewed appetite. No, Plague, Adrian said. I don't want you stinking up the Dupang Chang's house. But I'm hungry. It's not fair that Tiki gets to eat cookies, but I can't have a mere morsel of cheese. I'll be out of here in half an hour. You'll be fine. You're leaving so soon? Marinette cut in. Yeah, I have a gig later today. Adrian sighed. Oh, so when will I see you again? You know you get all my time, bugaboo. Does that mean I should rendezvous with you tonight? I'll never turn down the roof of Notre Dame. (laughs) It's a date. Marinette turned back to her homework, wishing there wasn't as much so she could cuddle with her boyfriend. Again, I'll ask, what did you get for question four? C. Thanks. She looked up just in time to see Adrian coming in for a kiss and smiled as his lips touched her forehead. How could she ever get used to this warm glow spreading throughout her body? Dating him was everything she'd ever hoped for, and more. He was her partner in every sense of the word, for both lives she led. They continued the rest of their study date in silence, her lying on the bed and him sitting on the floor next to her. He had finished before her and took to reading the comic books Alia had left beneath her bed, bursting into laughter at the shoujo manga humor. Now and then he would reach up to tickle Marinette's feet or rub her leg, a gesture of affection and affirmation. Do I get to see you tomorrow? She asked, watching Adrian stand up to pack his backpack. I'm not sure. It depends on how the shoot goes tonight. What if I throw in dinner? Adrian's face cracked into the smile she had seen oh so many times on Cat Noir. Why, my lady... I didn't realize you played dirty, he exclaimed in mock horror. We've been partners a long time. You don't think I know how to manipulate you by now? Marinette rolled over on her back and hung her head over the edge of the bed. You've manipulated me since the day we met, regardless of whether or not you knew it, he whispered, kneeling down beside her and running his fingers through her hair. I wish you could stay longer. Me too, princess. Me too. He smiled. 
Adrian stretched an arm around Marinette to give her a firm squeeze and supported her head with his free hand. He then, ever so slowly, leaned in to give her a kiss, knowing the anticipation would drive her wild. I love you, Chanton, Marinette whispered, her eyes still closed from their kiss. And I love you, Marinette. The couple held each other's gaze for a moment longer, cherishing the few moments they had left together. After a sigh of frustration, Adrian stood up and walked to the door. I miss you already, Marinette said. Dinner. Tomorrow. I'll be there, I promise. I'm looking forward to it. Marinette sighed, content as she watched her boyfriend leave. Who knew that she would end up with her first crush as a long-term boyfriend and trusted partner? Her homework was done, her mother was preparing food downstairs, and the world for a moment was at peace. She rolled over and closed her eyes, plunging herself into the land of dreams that, for once, couldn't possibly be better than her reality. Part 2 Adrian Agrest, doing homework in his girlfriend's bedroom. Adrian sighed as his girlfriend struggled with her homework. Usually they would do it together, peppering each other with light kisses whenever the other had the answer, but Marinette refused any help for this assignment. They had an exam on Monday, and she was worried about how well she'd do and wanted to make sure all of her answers were her own doing. But if X is four, she muttered, rubbing her forehead with a frown on her face. He glanced around the room and noticed Plagg sneaking out to go downstairs. Adrian sighed, knowing his companion would come back grumpy because the Dupang Changs ran out of camembert yesterday and hadn't replenished Adrian's stock. Meanwhile, Tiki was sitting next to Marinette, observing her and munching on a cookie. Adrian turned his attention back to his girlfriend, who was now chewing on her pencil's eraser. Whoa, he thought watching her crinkle her forehead in confusion. She is cute. He sighed and flopped onto his back. He really wanted to lean over and kiss her, but also didn't want to distract her. Instead, he closed his eyes and put on his headphones, slowly drifting off to sleep. Before he knew it, an hour had passed without even a dream to accompany him. He awoke unusually, with small amounts of pressure repeatedly pressing on his cheek. Adrian slowly opened his eyes to Marinette lightly kissing his cheek, over and over to wake him up. It's dinner time. Are you hungry? She asked. Uh, yeah, he said, rubbing the sleep out of his eyes. Great, I'll meet you downstairs, okay? Yeah. I'll, I'll be down in a moment. He groaned as he sat up, stretching the stiffness out of his body. He yawned as he waddled downstairs, giving Tom a quick nod as he sat down at the table. This looks good, Adrian said as Sabine set a bowl down in front of him. There's been a sudden interest in pork katsudon, so I figured I'd give it a try. She smiled and took the chair next to her husband. It looks great, Mom! Marinette exclaimed, sitting down next to Adrian. He smiled as he felt her wrap her leg around his underneath the table. He leaned over to give her forehead a quick kiss and picked up his fork, ready to dig into the meal provided for him. There was something magical about a home-cooked meal that he had never experienced before. Or maybe it's because I'm eating it with family, he thought, looking around the dinner table. 
Dating Marinette was a dream in and of itself, but he hadn't expected this. He hadn't expected a place that made him feel like he belonged. Thank you so much for listening. That was a compilation of the two-part mini-series study date. I wrote this, I want to say, six? Oh my goodness, years ago. Um, It was one of the first uh, mini-series that I'd, I'd ever written, so I figured I'd uh, bring it back with a re-recording in better quality than my uh, 2016 setup. I will catch you guys in the next one. If you're still listening, comment study date. Bye!